The last type of vulnerability that we're going to be looking at when it comes to C is what we would call a format string attack. So the idea here is um, properties of the format string uh, that become the first part of a printf call can be uh, exploited to some extent to either do recon into the stack or to potentially write data into the stack. So as a quick recap, here are all the uh, symbols that you can sort of use in the printf statement uh, inside the first argument, which is the format specifier that determines you know what characters you're going to print and how they're organized. Of particular interest are the last two. Um, actually, the x as well, that just prints data as hex. Um, also, it prints uh, p that prints essentially memory addresses or things as though they were addresses. And the last character, uh, or the last format specifier, which doesn't get mentioned very often, which is percent %n when you call printf, it doesn't actually output anything. What it does, though, is write the number of characters written so far into an integer pointer that you can then use. Um, you might you know, use this to track um, if you're not sure how much data is being output as part of a print string. Um, you can record that in this variable and get that data, but you might want to use. So generally speaking, you know, we would have printf, where in the first parameter we've got our quoted format specifier. In this instance, it's uh, printing out the square root of 0.2 as a float with various uh, levels of precision and padding and things like that and a new line character but generally speaking the format goes the first parameter is your format specifier followed by a comma separated list of variables that should populate each of the um, specifiers left inside of the format string but we've seen instances or you've probably used instances where we don't actually adhere to the this format, strictly speaking. For example, there's a couple of shortcuts where you might have, you know, a string like argv at one or a character array called buffer, and you can just pass those right into printf, and it kind of fails gracefully. Even though this isn't the standard way of calling them, it will still print that string for you. When really the best function for this purpose would be to use something like put string or um, put s. Um, but this still works, right? And this actually is the vulnerability. Uh, where we allow the user to determine the content of some string and we print it without making it adhere to a specific um, format string um, outline. So in this code example here, uh, we're basically taking argv at one, which is the first command line parameter. Uh, we're printing it followed by a new line and then just returning out of main. So as a bit of a demo of how this exploit works, so we can compile and run this example and we could put in the word test and that's fine. It would print it back the value test. But if we ran it again, and gave it 3% x's as the string that we're passing as our um, command line argument, here's what would happen. Um, in this instance on that run, um, I passed a percent %x four times, and these this is what resulted from the print statement. Um, we know that this data has to be coming from somewhere, and if we think about what we know about um, at least the uh, function call specification for 32-bit applications, it's that when we call a function, we pass its parameters onto the stack from right to left, right? So when printf is looking for all of the stuff to populate this format string, it's going to start looking for variables that would have been on the stack to the right, that would have been pushed on before it. And so it basically just retrieves the first four values off the stack and interprets them as hex values and prints them out. Um, so that's what we're seeing here. We're actually seeing content from inside the stack. What's interesting is you might uh, recognize, you know, characters like FFs tend to show up in our um, memory addresses and stuff quite frequently. So maybe we were accessing like a return address out of the stack or something like that. So that concept can be used to essentially do recon into the stack. Um, this could be used to read the contents of other variables. Maybe there's usernames and passwords stored in the stack. It could also potentially be used to read out the stack canary that's used for stack protection. We could read out the return address. We could read all kinds of contents if we could continue providing format specifiers um, in some unbounded string. The other interesting idea, though, is that that percent %n character allowed us to actually write a value into an integer. So if we had um, you know, some fixed number of bytes that we had output so far and then threw in a percent %n, we could almost write a crafted integer into the stack. So that might allow us to maybe manipulate the contents of some data. And there are more detailed versions of that kind of exploit. Um, you can read about them there, but we're going to do a quick demo. Um, 
So in the demo code for this, um, there are a couple of files. There's stirformat.c, stiratk.c, and a big example um, shell script and a make file. So I'm gonna run the make file. And it should compile these two for me. Um, they're basically just pre-written examples. So here, uh, in this first example, what we see is mains down here has x and y at five and 10, and calling uh, this print method and passing those two as parameters. So inside the function, we're pulling out those parameters and printing them. Um, then we're basically passing you know, um, their addresses and values. And then what we're doing is running this print statement here, uh, where we're using that format, um, that percent %n format specifier, which is gonna allow us to write data um, into some address. And then we're gonna, or into some uh, parameter. And we're gonna print the values of those. So we have calling foo with five and 10, parameters of five and 10, sum is 15. Then we have x, y, and z, um, their memory addresses and their values of five, 10, and 15. Then we ran this print statement where we had five a's and a percent n and put that into percent zip. Um, so according to percent n, we've printed five characters so far. So the value five should be written into the value of z now. So we print those, we see um, that x is 5, y is 10, and now z is um, back to the value 5 because that's what we fed into it. So that's just demonstrating how that percent %n works. Now we're going to run the other version, okay, where we are calling those um, same functions, we're passing in the same values, but now it's going to read an arbitrary value uh, for, from us, and it's going to put that into the z value. Uh, we can have a look at the code first to see kind of what's suggested. It gives us the value that we should use, basically um, just a, a string of A's um, to see what happens, to see if we can actually make any changes to this. Um, see here we're just getting the string and printing the string and not really doing any extra interpretation. We're not using the format specifier properly. So we're just going to use the Python way. Okay. So as before, we passed in 5 and 10. Their sum is 15. The values of x, y, and z are initially 5, 10, and 15. Then we have x is 5, y is 10. Then for z, which still lives at the same address, we get some large value um, because of all the a's that we put in there. The hex interpretation of that is 61, 61, 61, 61. And you see, we actually end up with a site fault as well um, because we put too much data in and we had a bit of a, a site fault. But that's just demonstrating how um, you know we can start to do things like corrupt the stack um, and access you know other um, content or even overflow into adjacent variables. The last file in here is sort of a, it's a shell script that takes that same example and runs a bunch of different tests against it using different values and different sequences um, based on attack strings of varying length to try to see uh, what it can achieve as output. Okay. Um, so we're gonna run that. And we're going to see what we got as output here. So initially, uh, we're in some function called main. Uh, we have some variables and a uh, function address. Uh, then we call function one passing into A and B. Uh, it asks us to enter a string. And the, the test case was that we entered the value test. So the string was test, lived at this address, the values of x, y, and z. So that's the standard um, mechanism. Then we ran an attack case, which we can look at. Okay, so the first attack case basically runs um, build attack string with the parameter of four. So here with this build attack string, um, we just basically insert 
um, a, a percent character and a space. Um, so we were reading sort of percent P and then a space, and then percent P and a space, and percent P and a space. So we basically uh, read sort of four um, so addresses out of the stack, if you want to call it that. So what happens uh, when it tries to print that string back to us, since uh, we just gave it a bunch of percent P's as the string, here's what we got. So we got an F, this address, this address, and this address, kind of interesting. Um, X, Y, and Z are still uh, 10, 5, and 15. What's interesting though is this here, the F is actually the 15 that we're seeing because that uh, local variable lived on the stack and we pulled that off and now we can see it. In the second attack run, we basically kept feeding it more percent P's and we tried to see what other content was in the stack. So we actually see here the 15. We also see the percent P characters, um, so the 25 and the 20. Uh, we see those uh, further down, and actually, eventually, we hit this, which is D, uh, FF, FF D000. That might be the saved base pointer. And the last time we ran it with 8% Ps, and if we get far enough down, we actually read um, past all the other content in the stack. We ended up overflowing it a little bit as well, but you'll notice we eventually got all the way down where we found the parameters to our function. Um, just by continuing to print percent %p's out of the stack. So we had the 15, which was the local variable z, and then we also found the 10 and the 5 that came in as x and y. But you'll notice also that in doing that, we ended up sort of overflowing and corrupting a bunch of data in the stack because of all of all this extra content we wrote, and then we ended up um, psych vaulting. Um, so that just kind of shows you some of the recon that's possible and that can be executed against the stack if um, a string character isn't properly or if a print string message isn't properly used. So the fix to the format string uh, vulnerability is just never to have print statements that look like this, where you're taking the print and directly putting it in without the format specifier. So the solution to these is always to put, you know, quote, percent %s, and then a closing quote before you insert your variable, or just use the other version, like um, put string, that doesn't take additional parameters uh, other than the string wants to print. That's all.